seen a formula car pointing up at the sky? I have. Coincidence? I don't think so. Well, it kind of looks like Pride Rock. Yay! How did we even get to this point again? Well, if you remember, Shary, it all began the day I saw Anokopi riding a unicycle. One night, I was watching TV. Lions are known for being majestic, vicious and violent, fearless warriors. Woo! Go Lions! But the cheetah is the fastest land mammal on earth. No lion could ever match the cheetah's speed. So that's when I went over to see you. Show it. Oh, Lenny, I'm kind of in the middle of a bath. <coughs> Go away, you stupid cow! How dare you call me a cow? I I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to. Get out! Ah! So, Lenny, what did you see in my cave? An be riding a unicycle. Very good. There better be a good reason I caught you in the bath, or else we really just disturbed some of the viewers at home. Well, it did get us both outside of my house. Yeah, that's probably a good thing too. It's probably about to blow up any second. Why's that? Well, your house always ends up getting destroyed. Lenny, my house only ever gets destroyed when you come over. Uh-oh. Why did you come over, Lenny? Shiri, have you ever heard of an animal called a cheetah? Uh, yeah? Have you heard how fast those things go? There's no way we can match that speed. And you're just now figuring this out. But what does that make me? I've always wanted to be the fastest animal on Earth. Now I'm nothing. Well, you raced a car once. That's not something a lot of lions can say. Yeah, but I wasn't any good at it. Well, maybe you can put your car talent to some other use. You could drive visitors around on safaris. Become a cab driver. Just don't do anything stupid like become a stunt driver. Light bulb. You're thinking of becoming a stunt driver, aren't you? Pride Rock! Please, do explain. I build up speed behind Pride Rock. We drill a hole inside that allows me to drive through until I break into the cave. At that point, I continue to drive to and off the precipice, jumping off of Pride Rock and pulling off the stunt of a century. So, you want to drill a giant hole through our house? Isn't it a brilliant idea? No. Ignore her. Shavy don't like it. Look, Lenny, we're not just going to let anyone drill a hole through our house. You let the meerkats do it in that Timon and Pumper movie. That was a one-off. And Kiara busted a hole through one of your walls in the second one. Look, the answer is no. We've had enough issues in the past trying to keep this place. Do you know how hard it is to keep a home? Well, hang on. We haven't heard from Nala yet. Nala, would you allow us to drill a giant hole through your house? Sold off! Well, that didn't work out. I'm sorry, Lenny, but it's not going to work. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got other issues to deal with. Wait a minute. That's it. What is? We build another Pride Rock. Think about it. It's a win-win. I still get to do my stunt, and you get a new home. Thanks for the offer, Lenny, but I'm not going to live in a house that has a giant hole drilled through the middle of it. How are you going to build another Pride Rock anyways? Let's just say I've got some friends in low places. So you see, Satan, that's why I want to build another Pride Rock. And the chances of you getting hurt? Very likely. And it shall be done. I will build the structure immediately. Awesome! Thank you, Unduke. Boy, this is going to be the greatest stunt ever. And so, Shavy, that's how we got here. I see. Well, when's the stunt going to take place? About an hour or so. Good. I've still got time to go shopping. OK, see you later. The truckload of pillows will be dropped off at your house later, Shari. Thanks, Shemshi. Mind me asking, 
Why do you need a whole truckload of pillows? Well, I bought a new house, you see, so I need to buy some pillows to go in it. A truckload? I'm a girl. I like pillows. Apparently. Anyhow, I guess we should be going to see Lenny's stunt. You go ahead. I'll catch up. I've got to take my shopping home and then I'll be there. Is this safe? Heck no. But that's the way you wanted it. He's your friend though. Aren't you worried he's going to crash? Oh, he'll crash. But well, he won't get hurt. Hey Shari, where's he going to land? There's a village over there. Couldn't he crash into that? You know, you're probably right. Our top story today, a lion survives a massive crash after a failed stump attempt. This is a photo of a lion called Lenny crashing into a house in a nearby village. Fortunately for Lenny, the house had been filled to the brim with pillows. The new owner of the house released the following statement saying, When I heard how close the village was, I realised that Lenny would probably crash into one of the houses. I bought this house knowing that with my luck, this would be the one he would crash into. Once the purchase was made, I went and bought every pillow from my local superstore, knowing that this was the only way to save Lenny from severe injury. The owner of the house remains anonymous. Anonymous, huh? You don't want the credit? I wouldn't mind, but I figure if I stay silent, maybe Lenny will stop bothering me. That's worth more than any hero status. Yeah. But is it worth the 10 million? What? They said that for the lion's heroic selfless act, they're offering them 10 million dollars for saving Lenny's life. 